Hi. <laughs> Hello, ladies, gins, and all the deranged voices screaming inside of my head. You are strong, you are the bloody god of strife. Because of your growing power, all other gods in the Pantheon have conspired together to cast you down to modern day Earth as a mortal. You must survive as a simple man of divine origin and find a way to take revenge. The only problem is, you don't know how. You can't just go out there and start killing people. That would be wrong. I don't care if it's wrong, but I must be patient. Actually, that's not, a, that's not an action, is it? I will be patient. I get a 9 to 5 job as a office uh, secretary. Secretary. I uh, get a 9 to 5 job as an office secretary. I slowly but surely hatch a plan to get back at those uppity evil. Actually, they are not evil. They're probably good because I was causing a little bit of trouble. There's neither here nor there. Those uppity gods. Mm. Look, let's not dwell in the past. I may have slaughtered I'm going villages. I'm to be a secretary. You say excitedly. It's not like I need money or anything. That's disrespectful. You spend the next few months trying to convince everyone that this was the best idea ever. I I believe it's a great idea. Look, it's a it's a front, it's a cover. You you judgmental, freaking storyteller! How dare you? How dare you say this is uh, not the best idea ever? I make use of my ample free time as a secretary to study the eldritch ways of forbidden magic in reddit forums look there's a lot of wackos out in the reddit world but there's also a lot of gold nuggets if you, you know, know where to look at you kind of thought office work was going to be boring but it's really not everyone is super nice and helpful Plus, you get to use a computer all day and become better acquainted with the ways of the modern world. You can't complain. The mask may be uh, getting a little too comfortable on my, ma on, my, on my face. I resist the urge to embrace a mundane life and fail Katas Traffically at it, especially after I meet Belinda, the lead programmer on the cubicle next to me. Maybe God of Strife was just a face. Maybe God of Strife is just way too high. Maybe I should just learn to forget and forgive. And your longing for a less human existence increases. Mm. You've been eating microwave dinners and frozen pizzas for the past two weeks. You can barely afford them, but you don't want to miss a meal. It seems that maybe God of Strife is truly my calling. Dig deeper into the Eldritch Reddit forums for the spell that will enable me to uh, get back on the path of strife. You could argue that my current life is strife. It is truly the man of a, of a tortured man. The life of a tortured man. Just eating microwave After dinners. After a few hours of searching, you find it. You don't have the proper tools for it, but that's okay because you are creative enough to improvise. You're going to need to walk a fine line with this, you think. I find deep within myself the divine spark that remains. I use my divine spark to fuel this spell and give me an enormous man meat. 
look, you just need to think more than one step ahead. You're just not thinking as the big next as I am. Find out you've grown a huge schlong overnight. Excellent. This spell has affected you much more substantially than you expected it to. This is only the first step. Now, now we we carry on. I use my huge schlong to impress any and all onlookers when I go out to party tonight by using my divine spark in conjunction with my enormous man meat I irrevocably bind them under my spell and I mean that figuratively under my spell as in they are uh, subject to my will and also under the literal spell that I'm casting upon their psyche you find yourself at a bar. You feel like you're even more popular than usual. Every guild wants to talk to you. Everyone is your best friend, including the bartender. All of you. you find yourself at a bar. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it like took a little while to find the, the voice, but you made Every it. Every girl wants to talk to you. Everyone is your best friend, including Every the bartender. Every single one of you is now my undying follower. Follow me, the god of strife reborn, and you shall experience a life of excitement and occasional dismemberment. The dismemberment may happen as I throw you as cannon father in front of my enemies. What the hell did you just say to me? The bartender asked. Gripping you by the collar. I. I said. I immediately throw the most divine inspired right hook to his face, to his nose, and gleefully watch, watch his face explode. In a bloody mess. There is no disrespect against strong you the bloody. There is only suffering you or servitude. Throat, and he stumbles backwards into the bottles of alcohol. You grab him by his tie and yank him towards you, slamming your knee into his face. Behold my power, mortals! I, Strongy of the Bloody, will rise again. Bow before me, or despair at your own insignificance. You have to assert dominance. I thought that I cast a freaking spell on all these dumbasses so they would be uh, followers. The at and turn to face the rest of the staff and bar guests. What hell is this? Someone screams. As you watch them scurry away from you in terror. I pull my pants down. Showing everyone the hypnotic eldritch schlong. Schlong that will enslave them all. I say, stare at my man mate. And... Find within yourself the complete devotion that I require. I did not close the quotes there. I'm sure that the AI will totally uh, parse it just fine. This entire process is perhaps not going. You pull your pants back up. It's no, no use. use. You're still hungry, and they're still terrified ah, of you. I see. Use, I use their terror against them. I reach for my divine spark once more. And with a wave of my schlong, I uh, enslave their minds to my will. 
they w are utterly helpless to stop themselves from complete sur sur subservience. These are things that I do, and they are 100% truths. The AI will take it as such, and victory shall be mine. One of the waitresses takes you into the kitchen. She drops to her knees and begins... What? There's going to be a little bit of a cut, because uh, I don't think that a waitress should be doing such things. <laughs> this is much better. You exit the bar to find a group of five people approaching. You put your hands against your head and say... You will submit to me, or feel the wrath of my incredible schlong. The five... You the bar to find a group of five Thank you for the narration that I already you put did. your hands against your head and say you will submit to me, or feel the wrath of my incredible schlong. The five humans approaching are instantly taken by my enormous and intimidating presence and man meat they decide to follow me forever until the end of time or until i run out of magnificence which will be never right away the five followers of strife get to work on that on a proper temple of worship sometimes you have to resort to telling the the story uh, the way that you want it to happen you can't let anything to chance the first thing they construct is a massive statue perfect of me, yes perfect. showing my magnificence and man meeting all of its glory they then construct a massive temple around it that is so much better so much better that's the, the because you gotta center yourself. I claim a new title Strongio, God of Girth. All shall cower before my incredible thickness. I have been reborn in the minds of men. It is very important to claim a new title to go with it. Can't just go back to strife. This, this is something you. bigger. After your five followers, you spend the rest of your days ruling over your new temple and growing in size. Eventually, you're as huge as a house. Slowly, my rise to divinity will take shape. I am now as big as a house. Next, I will be as, as tall as a skyscraper. I will be a mountain, and I will be able to literally reach into the sky. Continue growing in size by devouring all those who oppose my reign. Regale my followers with the sumptuous stench. Of my flatulence, as it will give them rapturous visions of their own victory over my enemies. You have to use vinegar, you have to use honey, you have to punish and reward. And so it came to pass. That strong ear grew so large that he crushed his own temple and all of his followers under one thickness. Only one thickness. We got plenty more thickness where that came from. Ah! I am now big enough to take on the very bottom of the ladder in the Pantheon. I challenge you! Gorgo the Stinky, I challenge you to a tournament of flatulence. I have honed my craft for so long. 
I have swallowed so many people. Their scents go, go, have gone. The, the AI is doing great. The, it's going, doing pretty great. Apparently, this is uh, this is the reply of the fart god of the goo. I immediately charge Gorgo with as much violence as possible, swinging my enormous divine long like a club. He thought that this would be a battle of wits and a battle of flatulence. He did not count on me breaking the rules by swinging that man meat into his face. The battle rages for several seconds. Your divine schlong breaks from hitting Gorgo's sign hard stomach. My divine schlong. My divine schlong has been broken. I kneel before Gorgo, defeated and in horrendous pain. I say, Gorgo, you have improved since we last faced one another. Surreptitiously, I draw closer to his weak spot. the back of his rump pretty sure that uh he will not see me coming he will not see me coming this is all a ploy you have grown strong in the ways of the goof i could not hope to beat you even at my peak gorgo all hail gorgo the stinky fart god of the goo uh, you have said this before this worked before where i just deleted that and then you resubmit it and he doesn't say it anymore but I have indeed grown strong in the ways of the goof. I could not hope to beat him. He could not hope to beat me. It is good that you admit it. Let us join forces and defy the rest of the Pantheon together. Perhaps constant Enmity is not the the way. Maybe the way is to form alliances. I was not fighting you to overthrow the Pantheon. I was fighting you to enact revenge. The Pantheon merely got in my way. Now is your chance, though. We could join forces. We could fight our way up through the Pantheon. Gorgo and Strongio form the most flatulent alliance. Ever conceivable. Conceivable. Strongio forms a new impressive mega schlong from the flesh of his followers. Gorgo. Yes, that's, that's okay to not capitalize it. Gorgo accrues an amazing amount of stench a cruise the ultimate stinky morsel that can topple Zeus himself together they rampage through the heavens exclamation marks Exclamation mark always makes it so that whatever you say comes true. This is how the story is going to go. Started the very first goof war and yes, nearly the destroyed war. the entire pantheon. Only through the most intense of battles were the goofs halted. The goofs were halted. Mm. We come to the final battle between. Team Goof and Team Boar Poopoo Face. Boar Poo Face. Comprised of Hegrilda, the Val. the, the, the Golden Valkyr. That's how you. Yeah, that's the same pronounce it. And Valkyrie and. 
Um, Helga. The tub of lard. Divine tub of lard. Gorgo and myself. Strongio the flatulent. Square off in a battle of the ages. This is probably going to be interpreted like I'm fighting Gorgo, but don't worry about it. It's all going to be a melee. It's all going to be a terrible fight in which I will be successful. You charge towards Gorgo with an incredible amount of flatulence. This flatulence cannot be the deflected. And he gets stuck in the ceiling. You continue to charge forward, straight through the floor. You have won. I cannot, my flatulence cannot be stopped. I carry on charging, directing my unstoppable flatulence toward Team Boar Poo Face. The irresistible stench will surely bend them over and give me victory. Me and my flesh-eating schlong. Victory. Perhaps this prediction will not come to pass, but I truly put a lot of, uh, of my own might into it. You charge towards the enemies, but your journey is cut short by a very tall tower. Rather than continue upwards, you die instead. This is Helga's doing. She stops time itself, and you are crushed by the immense pressure of your own weight. Blast you! Delicious donuts! Why did you have to be so tasty? Now I am too fat to even breathe. Uh... It's a tragic end. My strong you, the strong you, the god of strife. He had a, a good run, and so ends the tale of strong you, the bloody god of strife. He reinvented himself as the god of flatulence and revelry, and also eating donuts but it was all for naught at least he got revenge on most of those damn uppity gods they'll think twice next time look it was it was all a tragedy and so and most of the stories the bloody and in tragedy pride. He reinvented himself as the god of flatulence and revelry and also eating donuts, but it was all for naught. At least he got revenge on most of those damn uppity gods. They'll think twice next time. But this is all an, a great fable to teach that arrogance leads to f its folly. Arrogance is folly and le leads to ruin. And so ends the tale of Strongio the Bloody.